This is Zé Roberto. His job is to save lives. The African giant pouched rat uses his keen sense of smell to practice seeking out landmines here in the heart of Tanzania. It's a tense moment for his trainer, but especially for this man, Bart Vetiens. It was the Belgian's idea to use this rodent species to search for landmines. Zé Roberto has found something although the mine is buried some 15 centimeters under the soil. He gets a piece of banana as a reward. The mines buried here have no detonators. The real mine fields, where Zé Roberto will later be deployed, are a few hundred kilometers further south, in war-torn Mozambique. Land mines form a structural barrier to any kind of development. And as long as these devices are in the ground and area is suspected, uh, people can just not resume their normal way of life, uh, let alone develop. Uh, so it is a, a big burden. This is the headquarters of the Apopo organization in the Tanzanian city of Morogoro. It's where Bart Vetiens and his team train some 300 giant pouched rats to detect mines. They've been sniffing out explosives for five years now. Training the animals takes several months. When a rat indicates it has detected explosives, the handler makes a sound with a clicker. And the rat is rewarded with some pureed fruit. Meticulous records are taken of the results for later analysis. Albert has been with the project since the beginning. He's a handler, and his job is to accustom the young rats to humans and their ways, including their music. At first, it was hard to convince people in Tanzania the rats were not pests, but useful helpers. Albert says before this, he had no relationship with rats. For him, as for most people in Africa, rats were enemies. Traditionally, sniffer dogs have been used to detect landmines. But few dogs can tolerate the climate in Africa, and training them can cost up to 25,000 euros, a lot of money for most African countries. So Vetians came up with this alternative. Somehow I placed myself in the viewpoint of a subsistence farmer who is completely depending from foreign expertise to come in to tackle the problem. Um, I actually came across an article of scientific Americans that had uh, trained gerbils to detect explosives for a very different application. That gave me the click like, of course, rats can do this job. In Belgium, Vatian studied industrial design and was a punk rocker. Today, the 43-year-old is a Buddhist monk. Africa's long been a part of his life. My family had quite some connections with uh, Zaire at that time, DRC now. And uh, I've always been exposed to uh, African social circles, uh, to the diaspora, living in Europe. Uh, had lots of African friends when I still lived in Belgium. Um, so somehow, yeah, hard to explain, but there is certainly this connection with Africa. It's six o'clock in the morning. At the training center, the rats are loaded up for transport to the open field for another session. African pouched rats avoid the midday sun, and their sense of smell is at its best in the cool air of morning. The animals have names, and the handlers know who's who. But unlike dogs, the rats don't get attached to specific people. Landmines are a deadly threat in many African countries. It's believed that some 50 million of these weapons are still buried across the continent. Clearing them will take decades. Before the rats can be sent to detect mines, they have to pass many stages of training. In this stage, explosives have been hidden in tea infuser balls. The smart rodents have proven their suitability for the job in Mozambique for the past three years. Now, Bart Vetiens wants to expand his idea. Our rats function well in a tropical climate, uh, especially here on these laterite soils where metal detectors are often dysfunctioning. 
uh, rats are a good solution to speed up the process. But also in other uh, geographical uh, areas, rats could be used. Uh, the Colombians started using rats. Uh, we're now looking at bringing the rats to Thailand. And Vatians is working on another possible application for the clever rodents in the fight against tuberculosis. Nowadays, more people die from TB than any other infectious disease. TB is especially dangerous for people with AIDS. When presented with samples, the rats can sniff out the virus in its early stages. That replaces drawn out and expensive microscopic tests. And the animals could also be useful in detecting other diseases. Most common cancers where you need to process high volumes of samples, this technique might be suitable. Thinking of prostate cancer in men and uh, breast cancer in women. A large part of Bart Vitian's work involves fundraising. Sponsors can adopt a sniffer rat for five euros a month, which at least pays for its food. But to ensure a popo's future in the long term, Vatians is hoping for support from international organizations and governments so that these furry little heroes, their trainers and the man who started it all, can continue to carry out their unusual service towards freeing the world of landmines.